Tony Khan is touting the success of AEW All In 2024. On social media today, Tony Khan said he believes Sunday's pay per view was the best event in AEW history. He also posted that All In was a success financially, drawing more than 50,000 fans to Wembley Stadium and doing one of AEW's top two pay per view buy numbers over the last year. This was the second straight year London's Wembley Stadium has hosted All In. The 2023 event was AEW. United Kingdom debut and had an announced paid attendance of 81,035. AW Revolution is believed to have done around 180,000 pay-per-view buys this March. The number of pay-per-view buys for All In in 2023 was 200,000. Next year, All In will take place from Globe Live Field in Arlington, Texas. The event will then return to Wembley Stadium in 2026. This Wednesday night, Brian Danielson is set to address what his AEW World Championship means for his future in wrestling. Danielson defeated Swerve Strickland in the main event of All In to become the new AEW World Champion. With the victory, Brian extended his in-ring career at least a little bit longer. The match had a stipulation where Danielson, who is winding down his full-time career in the ring, would have retired if he lost. Tony Khan has announced that Danielson will speak about his future this Wednesday on Dynamite. At the post-show press conference on Sunday, Brian Danielson said All In was without a doubt his favorite moment of his career. Danielson's wife Bree Garcia and their two children made the trip to London and watched the main event from the front row. Switching gears now, Kevin Owens doesn't have a lot of time left on his WWE contract. The 40-year-old former Universal Champion revealed in an interview with Metro UK on May 4th that he had nine months until his deal expired. He recently told Sports Illustrated The Takedown that the only thing that has changed regarding his contractual status since then is that there is now less time remaining on the agreement. Kevin Owens signed a three-year deal with WWE in late 2021 that is believed to be in the $2 to $3 million per year range. Owens is currently involved in a program with Cody Rhodes on WWE SmackDown and will challenge Cody for the WWE Championship this Saturday at Bash in Berlin. And on to some NXT news. Another TNA star has made an appearance in NXT. Rosemary appeared as a surprise opponent for Kalani Jordan on Tuesday's show. Despite the surprise, the women's North American champion was able to defeat the former TNA Knockouts champion. After the match, Kalani Jordan was put in a chokehold by Wendy Chu, her opponent, this Sunday at No Mercy. The end of the segment saw Wendy Chu hold the North American title as Rosemary looked on approvingly. Rosemary is the latest TNA talent to make their way to NXT since the two promotions have started to work together. Two TNA stars will wrestle at No Mercy this Sunday when Zachary Wentz faces former friend Wes Lee and Joe Hendry challenges Ethan Page for the NXT Championship. And speaking of the NXT Championship match, a special guest referee has been added. Former NXT Champion Trick Williams will act as a special guest referee for the NXT title match between Ethan Page and Joe Hendry. NXT GM Ava added Trick to the match as the referee in the show closing angle on this week's NXT episode. The matches announced so far include Wesley vs. Zachary Wentz, WWE NXT Tag Team Champions Chase U defend against Nathan Frazier and Axiom. Kalani Jordan will defend her NXT Women's North American Championship against Wendy Chu. WWE NXT North American Champion Oba Femi defends against Tony D'Angelo. Ethan Page defends his NXT Championship against Joe Hendry with Trick Williams as a special guest referee. And Roxanne Perez defends her NXT Women's Championship against Jada Parker. And speaking of Roxanne Perez, I had the pleasure of chatting with her this week, heading into NXT No Mercy. We talked about several things including the difference between her first and her second reign. Take a look. Yeah, you know, I think uh, the second run has been so fun for me. Uh, I feel like I've definitely been able to solidify, solidify myself as, you know, one of the best women's wrestlers in NXT. Um, in, I feel like in the WWE because, uh, you know, the, the first, my first run, uh, I was still like, a little nervous, you know, I had just gotten signed here. Um, it was, I felt like, I definitely felt the pressure. Um, and this time around, I feel like I don't feel as much pressure. I feel like 
this is where I belong. I belong with the NXT Women's Championship. I belong putting on all these great matches for everybody to see. And um, yeah, it's it's been awesome. One of the key matches in Roxanne's second reign was against Thea Hale, where both Roxanne and Thea Hale made history as the youngest two women to main event an NXT match. Take a look at what Roxanne had to say about her match with Thea Hale. Oh my God, yes. Uh, what was so cool about that was, uh, I think it was Sean that, that uh, told me, he's like, this is the youngest match in NXT history that we've ever had. Um, so that definitely was a little bit of pressure, but I felt like it wasn't like, it wasn't too much pressure. It felt like, okay, that's really cool, but I think we're definitely gonna knock it out of the park. And we did. Um, I think like, I remember being in the match and like hearing the fans, like when we were trading um, submissions and hearing the fans get so excited and not knowing like where it was gonna end. It was just, it was such a good feeling. Like, I feel like that that's always like, that's always the feeling that I want to get every time I'm I'm out there in a match where like the crowd is just so excited and that was definitely one of the matches. So yeah, we both felt that after it was so it was one of my favorite matches of all time for sure. And of course, she spoke about her NXT No Mercy opponent Jada Parker. Take a look. I'm excited. Uh, I was just talking about this. Uh, I remember, you know, she's only been here for like maybe a year or so. Uh, and I remember when she first got here. Uh, we were actually in a class together and she was just getting started. She was just learning and I was kind of like helping her out a little bit. But I remember she'd always come and like ask me questions. And, and I always saw like that spark in her eyes of like, okay, like she wants this. Like she, she really wants this. And now to see her like how far she's come a year later, like now she's, now we're going to put on a pay-per-view match for my NXT Women's Championship. And uh, yeah, you know, she definitely oozes aura, confidence, all of that, like future champion for sure, but it's not quite her time yet. NXT No Mercy streams on the Peacock and the WWE Network on Sunday, September 1st. That's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and catch you on the next one.